Hey, what's up folks? This is Miguel from Esporajo, Madrid, and I'm at this beautiful three-bedroom apartment located in, in Plaza de Cascorro. Guys, this is right in the heart of La Latina, which is one of the coolest and most popular neighborhoods in the city. You have La Latina, of course, as the, as the closest metro station, and it's at about four, four, maybe three or four minutes from here. And guys, Plaza de Cascorro itself is, of course, what the apartment is, is actually where the flea market, uh, El Rastro, happens every Sunday. So this is a very popular area, and the air, and you know there are all type of bars, restaurants, supermarkets, and really cool antique shops and vintage, you know, where you can find all type of stuff, including uh, I don't know, like beautiful furniture. And that's something that the landlady actually has taken advantage of, and she has actually put a lot of decoration items into the apartment that really makes it a standout from the rest because nothing you find here uh, you know, is easy to find in any other apartments. So again, um, well, this is actually on the second floor. Uh, it's interior, so all bedrooms, including the living room and bedroom, I mean, and kitchen are interior, so it's a little bit dark, but not too much, right? I mean, you should be okay. As, as you can see, this is natural light. It's not bad at all, but just take that into uh, consideration. All right, and well, again, it's in La Latina, and you can even walk from here to the main center in less than 10, 15 minutes, so it's a good thing. And well, let's get started. All right, so let me come back here to the front door to give you a quick uh, overview. But basically, as you come in, we have this kind of entrance hall, where there's this, uh, I mean, this is the kind of items I told you about. This is like this sewing uh, machine. This is the only, the, the table itself, but you know, it's really nice. There's this chandelier, which is pretty cool. And then, well, here's the kitchen, living room, and then through this hall, we go to all the bedrooms and the bathroom. So let's get started with the kitchen. As you can see, um, so it has those two windows that head to an interior patio, so not much light comes from there. Uh, well, but the kitchen is fully equipped and it's pretty nice. There's that mirror in there that, you know, makes it look a lot bigger. But, well, here's the fridge. It's actually, it looks like almost, uh, you know, it's new. All clean and titty. And, well, here's the induction stove. Here's a toaster, a coffee maker, an espresso machine. Here's the sink, the microwave oven, the washing machine, the dishwasher. And then here we have all the silverware, the bigger spoons and knives and all that. There are some more stuff in here. And then down here we have all the pots and pans, some Tupperwares, a shopping board. Then, well, up here we have the plates, a juice maker, a coffee maker up there, and more plates, a kettle, a bowl. So it's fully equipped, you don't have to worry about a thing. And then on this other side, there's this really cool furniture. So, this is another piece of decoration I, um, I'm, you know, I'm talking about, which is really fancy. Let me open it up carefully because I don't want to mess it up but anyway uh, as you can see it's really nice there's a mirror back there and then you have all the glasses and cups and also the mugs in there so that's pretty cool all right so this is a Picasso painting of course it's not the original but it looks <laughs> really nice and well let me move to this corner to give you another view of the kitchen all right, and then, well, we have the living room right here. Of course, it connects with the kitchen and there's a dining table in between, which is also a really fancy dining table. It's super heavy. I mean, this is not, of course, the typical bed. I mean, the typical table that you would find in Ikea. This is a lot better than that. And, you know, same for the rest of the items on the living room. There's this nice couch with those beautiful uh, pillows. There's the TV with that nice coffee table. Again, it's all in touch, all antique, but super well taken care of. There's this really cool chair. And then this is a hundred year old lamp. And it hasn't been restored or anything. I mean, well, I think it's just great that 
uh, you know, after 100 years, is still looking as beautiful as it is. But anyway, there's this nice table in here with some other decoration items, which are pretty nice. And then on this corner, we have the AC unit, which is enough to, uh, you know, cool down uh, the whole living room and kitchen. And then there's a window right here that heads to the interior patio, but still, you know, you get some, you get to see the sky, so that's why it's so bright in here. It's almost as exterior, but it's not, so that's why it's bright in here. All right, so let's keep going. Well, there's this beautiful mirror as well. Pretty cool. Next, uh, well, the first thing you find on the next, the first door you see on the left is the bathroom, which is, of course, a full bathroom. Here's the sink, the toilet, and the shower cabin. And here's the mirror, and then these hooks. Oops, you can move them. <laughs> All right. Next is bedroom number one. So all bedrooms are interior. So they are a little bit dark, but you should be okay with a light bulb. And there's also a lamp on each bedroom, so that shouldn't be a problem. So this is bedroom one. It has a nice single bed, a beautiful wallpaper of flamingos. And there's this, then this is the standalone closet unit that has uh, those hangers in there, a couple of shelves down there, and also up here. And on top of that, of course, you can, you know, you're gonna use this for all your clothes and all that. But if you actually need to store your stuff, let's say the luggage, just have a space up here. So there's actually kind of like a, this sort of space on each room. So that's good. Again, you cannot reach here every day, but you can store all the luggage and stuff that you need to use every day. All right, let me move to this corner. So again, this is an interior patio. I'm gonna still show it to you so you can see it. But there's not much to see in here. All right, here's another view. Again, this is bedroom one. Next is bedroom two, which is right next door. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. It's a steel interior and it has a double bed instead of single it has the same standalone closet unit as the other one and also the same space up there for storage there's also a beautiful wallpaper in here and then all those pictures and different type of art which is really nice all right so here's another view again this is bedroom two I come to this side so you can see it better. There's no AC unit on either of the bedrooms, just the one on the living room. And lastly, bedroom number three, which is actually the brightest bedroom of all three, because it heads to another interior party that has a little more natural light. But still, uh, you also have a lamp, so that shouldn't be a problem. There's that beautiful wallpapers, uh, wallpaper, I'm sorry, and there's a single bed. There's a cool mirror, and then this beautiful nightstand actually has, so again, this is the type of stuff I'm telling you about. This is really unique. It's just a nightstand, but it has these kind of drawers that you, you actually slide them left and right instead of, you know, pulling them out. So, that's pretty cool, I think. And, well, here's another view of bedroom three. It has the same standalone unit with all with hangers and all that. And then, well, this is the other interior patio. Let me show it to you as well. Same as the other one, not much to see, but still, you get more light from here, so that's good. All right, and then the storage space is up there as well. All right, so well, that will be it, guys. Again, uh, really nice three-bedroom apartment. You just saw it; it's beautifully decorated. The landlady has really taken care of this place, and you can really notice it. And well, I think that's a you know, great feature to find in apartments. And well, super well located. Very, uh, you know, it's well equipped. 
and like again uh, super well you know connected to the main center you have the metro station at about four minutes from here so I think it's a great deal overall I hope you liked it bye